Welcome to Y News, I am Christopher. Qualcomm is one of the world's largest mobile chip makers, with operations spanning mobile communications and computer technology. As a global company, Qualcomm has invested hundreds of millions of dollars in China, established R&D centers and production bases, and cooperated extensively with domestic manufacturers. According to statistics, Qualcomm's products account for more than 50% of the market share in China, which makes Qualcomm one of the most important suppliers in the Chinese market. However, conflicts between Qualcomm and the Chinese market are gradually emerging. According to reports, China's Ministry of Commerce investigated Qualcomm under the name of anti-monopoly, arguing that Qualcomm had monopolized its key patents in the Chinese market in violation of the anti-monopoly law, and demanded that Qualcomm change its business model and reduce its royalties. Qualcomm fought back claiming that the Chinese Ministry of Commerce had misunderstood and that their patent licensing fees were reasonable and fair worldwide. However, the findings still had an impact on Qualcomm in the Chinese market and Qualcomm's share price fell as a result. In order to mitigate the conflict with the Chinese market, Qualcomm took the decision to suspend the supply of chips to the Chinese market. This decision once intensified the U.S. government's support for China and caused Qualcomm's share price to fall. However, this decision gradually lost U.S. support and was seen as a step backwards for the U.S. technology industry and an unfair treatment of China. After a period of loss and confusion, Qualcomm eventually decided to seek a solution to restore its relationship with the Chinese market. To this end, Qualcomm negotiated aggressively with the Chinese government and agreed to pay a fine of up to billions of dollars to resolve the problems in the Chinese market. The outcome of this negotiation also pushed the U.S. government to reconsider its policy and position towards Qualcomm. At the same time, Qualcomm has begun to promote their products and technologies in the Chinese market and to work more closely with domestic manufacturers. All of this demonstrates the importance Qualcomm attaches to the Chinese market and its active participation in the global semiconductor industry. In recent years, the semiconductor industry has evolved rapidly, impacting global economic development. However, a recent data about China's chip imports has caught the attention of the global industry. From January to May 2023, China's IC imports dropped 19.6% year-on-year and the value dropped 24.2% year-on-year. What does this mean? What impact will this have on global chip companies and technology companies? From January to May 2023, China imported 19.6% fewer ICs in volume and 24.2% fewer chips in value year-over-year for a total of 45.5 billion fewer chips imported and 300 billion fewer chips imported in value. As the world's largest semiconductor demand market, the year-over-year -year decline in chip import volume and value had a huge impact on the global economy, and semiconductor companies had to make a series of decisions to adapt to the change. With China's economy gradually getting back on track and growing, the semiconductor industry is still facing great challenges. China's policy to increase the self-sufficiency rate of chips is one of the reasons for the decrease in chip imports. We must have a clear understanding of this. The reduction in chip imports has had a significant impact on companies in the global semiconductor industry that have taken measures to reduce costs and increase efficiency. Among them, the most effective method is to lay off employees, and the decline in profits of global semiconductor companies is more than bearable situation. Large semiconductor companies such as Intel, AMD, Samsung and Micron, for example, have accumulated losses of about more than $70 billion in the first quarter of 2022. 
In addition, global technology companies are also experiencing large-scale layoffs. 2022 year more than 1,000 technology companies laid off 154,336 people and in less than six months in 2023, more than 700 technology companies have launched layoff actions. The number of people affected by layoffs more than 200,000. However, May data show that the Chinese chip market has recovered, which will have a positive impact on global chip companies and technology companies. After all, China as the world's largest semiconductor demand market, the performance of its chip market has played a crucial role in the development of the global semiconductor industry. Although the reason for the recovery of the Chinese chip market is not clear, but this good news will certainly bring more opportunities. If China invests more money to develop its domestic semiconductor industry, then this will drive domestic semiconductor companies to grow in the global market and become an important force for international competitiveness. In the face of China's increased chip self-sufficiency, there will be many chip companies and technology companies around the world going out of business and closing down, which requires us to collectively think about its impact on global chip companies and technology companies. Since 2015, China has launched a series of plans to increase its chip self-sufficiency rate. In recent years, China has invested a lot of money in the semiconductor sector and has tried to attract domestic and international companies to develop the semiconductor industry through various means. It is predicted that in the future, as China's chip self-sufficiency rate increases, the domestic semiconductor industry will grow faster and compete with foreign companies. However, in this process, there will be some chip companies and technology companies around the world will be hit hard by the loss of the Chinese market. In short, the dilemma facing global semiconductor companies is not only the reduction of chip imports, they must overcome the impact of the global epidemic, but also the need to face the new demand for semiconductors in emerging areas such as digitalization and autonomous driving. Therefore, it is necessary to promote technological innovation throughout the value chain in the semiconductor sector and find a sustainable development model to adapt to this ever-changing world.